Hey, what's up, folks? James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining us on another adventure. And it is officially the holiday season, so everyone's looking around to get gifts for their loved ones. So for this video, we have seven different gift ideas for that outdoors person in your life, whether it's you know your, your father, your son, it, it could be your wife, it could be yourself. There's nothing wrong with treating yourself. We have seven different gift ideas here that for that outdoors person in your life. And they're mostly going to be budget friendly. There's one that's probably probably a little bit higher, but they tend to stick to about the $15 to $35 range, mostly around there. So thank you for joining me. Let's get started. So item number one is going to be the Mora Garberg in carbon. Let's just go ahead and knock out the most expensive item on this list. So as of right now, this blade has been out for about four or five years already. So it's not as expensive as, as it was before. It, you can find this for about 70 bucks at this point, which is you know far more affordable than the $100, $120 that it was when it first came out. So it is starting an inch closer to budget friendly territory. Now this is a great all around knife right here. Whether that person you're shopping for is a camper, a backpacker, a prepper, a bushcrafter, this blade is just uh, it's just a very well-rounded blade. So you have a full tang, one eighth inch thick, high carbon steel blade with a Scandinavian grind. So it's going to be doing great on a lot of batoning, a lot of feather sticking, whittling, carving a spoon, that kind of stuff. But then, of course, it has a flat 90 degree spine for striking a ferro rod, uh, scraping thorns off cactus, scraping slime off fish. It has a pommel in the back, something that I've grown to really enjoy in blades. So you can crush things, crushing pecans, crushing shellfish, stuff like that. Very comfortable handle. Very ergonomic plastic handle. And there's two sheaths that you can choose. Uh, you can go with this classic prop polypropylene sheath. It's plastic. Very fancy word for a plastic material. I dig it. Nice and simplistic. Or if you wanted to go a little bit snazzier, there is a leather sheath. A leather sheath that you could just close it over. It reminds me of like a, a gun pouch that Indiana Jones would carry or something like that. Now... Obviously, right now, we're just talking about the blade. In case you're interested in seeing this in action, I, we do have a review on this already, so I'll place it up here. And on that review, we put this thing to the test out here in the American Southwest. We start a one-stick fire. We process small game. We process the kangaroo rat. And then from there, you know, we get the fire going. We start cooking them. And afterwards, we dug up some yucca root so we can uh, process it down with the blade to make some soap so we can clean our hands. So uh, definitely just excelled in all its testing. I would consider that one probably one of our best knife reviews ever. Like it was such a well-rounded review and uh, the blade just of course was outstanding. So check it out if you're so inclined. And once again, this thing is just a, uh, who would say no to a more garbage, honestly. So item number two is going to be a flashlight in particular, my hat flashlight. I know I'm kind of weird and I decided to attach it permanently to my hat but it is more primarily uh, a keychain light and I think that's a great type of light to introduce somebody to the concept of everyday carry or preparedness so whether it's your wife your kids somebody like that you know and you don't want to expend a lot of money getting them some fancy phoenix light that they could break or lose this is a great starter flashlight so what I like about this one is that once again it's very easily to carry it's not going to be bulky or anything like that you could put a key ring around here and it comes with one and have it on your keys so usb rechargeable it has several modes including the highest which is 650 lumens that is very very impressive Very impressive for a small light. And I got to admit, these last few years that I've been uh, testing out different smaller lights, I haven't really been impressed by a lot of them. They're either too simplistic, too weak, or too gimmicky. Like uh, last year, I had a Nightcore Tiny 2. Every channel was making a big deal about that light. I used it for two months and it broke. I ended up throwing it away. This, on the other hand, has been very sturdy and uh, just very trusty. I've really enjoyed it. So I don't have a full review on this light so far. That'll come probably next month, but uh, so far I'm really liking it. I liked it so much I ended up buying a second one for my other hat as well, so that way both hats have a light, and uh, yeah, really digging it. And once again, great for that person that you're introducing to everyday carry or for yourself to have as a backup, and uh, it sells for about 28 to 30 bucks, so it's not too bad. 
While on the subject of my hat, you may have noticed that I also have a match attached to it. So longtime viewers know that I've been rocking a Yuko Titan Stormproof match on my hat. Now mainly it's just for ornamentation, it just looks cool, but at the same time it's just it's going to be practical as well because these things are just absolute little tanks. So item number three is the Yuko Stormproof Titan Matches. These things are like little mini road flares. They'll burn for about 40 seconds. And you know, if you're in a harsh condition, whether you're, you know, it's if it fell on snow, it fell in a puddle, um, whatever the case may be, if you live in a place that's prone to like power outages and stuff like that, you know, we're about to enter winter. You know how the East Coast gets, stuff like that. So these are always a good backup. And they're pretty, they're plentiful. You, you can buy these sometimes like at Cabela's, Walmart. I think I've even seen them. So they're, they're quite plentiful. They're reliable and they're pretty cool so for that prepper in your life that fire bug in your life this is a cool little container i forget how much come in here when you first purchase it i want to say about 12 i'll annotate below in case i'm mistaken but this is a cool little case very sturdy and um normally there was a, a striker here years of using this i it fell off and then i do it does come with the backup striker in here but i i just been lazy and haven't put it on there but pretty sturdy little container and you know once again you get these really great sources of ignition so once again if you're prepping or even if you're going to go camping and you're going with some buddies this is a quick way to impress them these things are just awesome and they run to they run about 14 bucks i want to say probably less so a great and very affordable way of uh, item to give to that loved one So for item number four, let's move down to my keys. So you recently saw this in my EDC update. I have this carabiner, titanium carabiner by Rovivon. It's the same company that makes this flashlight. And uh, they sent both of these items at the same time. And once again, I just been putting off making a review, but uh, let me just remove all these keys. And this thing is just awesome. This is a great little stocking stuffer. You get a tough little titanium carabiner. You get a little bit of measurements there with the, the centimeters. And my favorite item that you can add on here, it has a little hidden blade. Now, of course, you're not going to be going batoning logs with this little blade or anything like that, but it's great for everyday carry, just to having that, that redundancy in your life. This has been used a lot with me when I go to the post office. So I'm constantly shipping things out. We have monthly giveaways on our Patreon, stuff like that. So I'm constantly going to the, uh, to the post office and I cannot for the life of me stand to dirty gunk up my, my pretty fixed blades and stuff like that um, with, with tape and glue and all that, you know. So this is great when I'm, you know, setting up the packages or when I do receive packages. Companies send me stuff or I ordered something, you know, and I'm opening up that package. I don't want to dirty my... My, my snake eater, my more Consible, stuff like that. So this is a great little blade. And uh, yeah, I do believe you can replace these. I'll, I'll let you know in case I'm mistaken, but yeah, I do believe these are replaceable. And uh, yeah, just a little, little backup there for your keys. So very simplistic, not a lot to talk about a carabiner, but uh, I mean, it's still pretty awesome. So item number five is gonna be the MSR Pocket Rocket number two. So it took me forever to get into gas stoves and, and that kind of stuff because I'm very old school and I just wanted to make fire for everything. But uh, this was sent to me a few years back by my buddy Leo from My Ridge Zombie Nation. And let me tell you, as soon as I got it, this thing has become a mainstay in my everyday carry, in my, in my vehicle, when I go on camping trips. I mean, this thing you attach to a little gas tank, power it on and boom right away you can get water boiling for coffee in the morning some ramen uh, heating up some you know a can of ravioli or whatever the case may be and with all these items folks not only are they going to make a great item to have for recreation for camping trips hiking trips that kind of stuff but i also like to make sure that they're also going to be useful for emergencies as well so looking back back in february here in texas we had a crazy we just had crazy power outages. We had snowstorms, stuff like that. I'm lucky that I wasn't affected too severely, but in other places like in Austin, I mean, they, they went weeks without power. So, I mean, things can get bad, you know, and we're so used to being, you know, babied by the grid, by the system. 
but in a situation when you need, you know, you're out of lighting, you're out of way to cook food, whatever the case may be, this is something that's going to be a godsend. So you can boil water so you can make coffee or for hygienic reasons, whatever the case may be. So whether you're out camping like I was last time and I was very groggy in the morning, this helped me, you know, start some coffee first before starting the day. Or once again, in an emergency, this is going to be very useful. Uh, I forget how much this runs you. I want to say like in the 30s. $30, $35, but it's just it's just worth its weight in gold to be completely honest with you. Now this thing can easily be put away in a small container, put it away in your bag, your bug out bag, your get home bag, your everyday carry stuff, you know, and then of course you just got to buy little cast, uh, I'm sorry, the gas canisters, those, those can be a little bit more bulky, but you can have them in your vehicle, in your garage, stuff like that. And just put this away in your backpack, in your haversack, and it's just going to be very useful. So item number six is going to be Junkyard Fox merch. It goes a long way to helping us keep getting back out here. So we have shirts, we have bandanas, we have stickers, we have mugs. I did bring a couple of the mugs. So uh, we have these enamel coffee mugs. So if you're out in the campsite and you're, you know, sipping on coffee in the mornings, if you have, or if you want to sip on some bourbon, now that it's the time for festivities, some eggnog, whatever the case may be, uh, these are really cool. So we have this classic Fox one. We have the go outside and get your boots dirty, the classic logo as well. And for those of you, those of uh, you music lovers, we do have a Cuervo Negro one as well. So if you're hitting the hooch, enjoying yourself, and you're playing some of that classic Cuervo Negro Alchemy or Dust and Bone jams, uh, this is a great cup as well. And these are fairly inexpensive. They sell for about $15.99. A lot of the times we do have promotions like 15% off or free shipping, something like that. So once again, this goes a long way to helping support us so we can keep getting out here, guys. A lot of people don't think of this when they're watching a video, but it takes a lot of effort to drive several hours to get out of the city, film a video, um, execute whatever we had to do, whether it's, you know, processing game or, or whatever the case may be, uh, fishing, and then to, to film it and then drive all the way back, edit it. It's very time consuming, guys. And, you know, I got to say that we are very passionate about it, but a lot of times we do have to get time off from our day job so we can remain consistent. So when you purchase our gear, whether it's our merch or the links down below to our Amazon store, it goes a long way to keep us once again, just keep getting out here, being consistent about it. And uh, yeah, so once again, these mugs, if you're so inclined, I happen to be a big fan of these. This one is my favorite personally. And then once again, we also have t-shirts and stuff like that. So we'll have the link below once again to purchase our merch. And the final item, item number seven, is going to be the Reiki L32B Swiss Army Knife. This thing is just awesome. This is my newest like toy that I just cannot put down. I've been loving this thing. You guys know me. I happen to be a severe Swiss Army Knife fan. Those are my favorite type of multi-tools. Uh, this one is kind of like takes that idea of a Swiss Army Knife, but then there's a lot of upgrades that happen here. One of the first things that I hear when it comes to criticism of Swiss Army Knives is uh, a lot of viewers, they, they wish that Swiss Army Knives would you know, raise the, the quality of their steel. That's never been a problem to me personally, but in case that's the deal breaker for you, this blade and these tools happen to be made out of 12C27 stainless steel. That's a Sandvik steel, the same type of steel that Mora uses for like say their, their Consble for example. I'm a big fan of that. Very resilient against rust and the elements. Uh, it's very easy to sharpen. Now this one, let me just close these other ones for now. But this is one hell of a blade. I mean, it's a it's a beefy. It's about one eighth inch thick. I'll annotate in case I'm mistaken. But it's a thick blade, full flat grind. One thing is, it is not a locking blade. It's not a locking blade like like the Rangerwood 55 or the Trekker. That's not a big deal for me because I'm not gonna be abusing this and doing stupid things with it. I open this up, chop up some sausage, some some jalapenos with it, close it back up, or you know, cut through a box, cut through a package, and that's about it. So, really nice little blade. It also has a pocket clip. You can place this on your person or you can place it on your haversack or something like that. It also has a really nice saw, so that making this one a great one for once again, camping, hiking, you know, if they're that bushcrafter that uses a lot of notches to make, you know, figure four deadfall traps or bow drill sets, this is gonna work right here. There's also, of course, a bottle opener for that party time, those uh, holiday festivities, 
a flathead screwdriver, a seat belt cutter, which can you know be useful in emergencies. I use this to open boxes a lot, to be honest. And then there's a little bit of a glass breaker as as well right here. If you see that, you know, for whatever the case you may need that, whether self-defense or you know make your way out of a vehicle in an emergency. And then there's a corkscrew. That's I'll admit I'm not the biggest fan of this. I much would have rather preferred a Phillips screwdriver or something like that. But I um, mean. You know, if you happen to be so inclined to be more of a wine connoisseur or you know somebody that, you know, they like to drink wine uh, while out camping or on the outdoors, uh, Cuervo himself happens to be quite a wine connoisseur. So he, I know he uses his corkscrew a lot. So these blades, they sell for about $37 on Amazon. Oh, G10 handles as well. So there's far more grip. Feels a lot nicer than like the, the red plastic of uh, Victorinox blades. But uh, yeah, sells about $37 to $40 on Amazon. I'm very much impressed with this. I'll have a review in a couple of months, but spoiler alert, I'm loving this thing so much. Well, folks, that's about the conclusion of this video. The sun is just racing down behind that mountain, so we're running out of light, so we gotta hurry up, pack it up, and get back to the truck. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope these video ideas, uh, I'm sorry, gift ideas were very useful to you. I put a lot of thought into them. And honestly, if I happen to be that person that's receiving these gifts, I would love all of these. I mean, I got to admit this, I am head over heels on this thing right now. So the links will be down below if you're so inclined to purchase these things, uh, whether it's from our Amazon store or our merch store. Guys, that goes a long way to helping fund the channel. Uh, if you're wondering why every outdoor channel is making these gift ideas videos, is because it's easy content to film and it's easy money to make. You know, make get, we get a couple cents out of it. And it's not that we're greedy or anything like that, but it does take a budget. And who doesn't like to make you know a profit out of their craft, right? So thank you all so much for your support. It means the world to us, guys. And also. Uh, comment down below if you're so inclined to purchase a Corvo Negro patch. We still have a few left if you want to be rocking the big guy. And uh, thank you so much once again. So happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and we'll see you guys next week with another video. Now go outside and get your boots dirty.